Hi, my name is Martin, your agronomist from Avocare Consultants, and welcome to the orchards again. As usual, we visit farmers and we see different problems and challenges that we want to share with you. We teach you, you get to know exactly what the problem might be, or even uh, the good things that we also meet in the farms. And today, We've uh, come to this farm and one of the things that I've noticed that I would like to share with you is the abortion of the flowers and the, f and the fruits on the trees. If you look at this uh, branch and this tree, you can see a lot of abortions, flower abortions, and even the, the pea size uh, fruits that are coming up, some of them are also aborting. What could be the reason behind the abortion here? There are several reasons behind abortions in the avocado trees. And I just want to mention a few. And one of them, number one, we've gone through a very, uh, a very uh, sunny, uh, two months and that is the time that this tree managed to flower. One of the reasons for uh, the abortion of these fruits and uh, flowers is that extreme heat. That one is a sure way. That extreme sunshine will force lead into the abortion of the fruits and the flowers. Two, lack of water on the trees. While it is so sunny and the fruit is not getting enough water, then the flowers and the fruits are not getting enough water for their growth and move to the next, uh, to the, to the next cycle. So the tree will react by shedding off the, the flowers and the fruits. So lack of water is the second one. Third, lack of the necessary nutrients by this tree will most likely lead to abortions. Both the mac macronutrients and the micronutrients that are needed, especially needed so much during this time, will cause abortion in this. A fourth one, please, sorry, is extreme wind. If where a tree is exposed to extreme wind, that will outrightly lead to the fall of the fruits and the fall of the flowers. So we've talked about extreme sunshine, lack of water. We've talked about um, uh, the weather factors, something like excessive, excessive uh, wind and several things will lead into, into the abortion of, 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 the, of the fruits and of the flowers. So as a farmer, make sure that one, in the case of the wind, make sure that you have windbreakers around your farm. Make sure that you have enough windbreakers, plant enough windbreakers around your farm. As for the nutrients, both the macro and the micronutrients that are required, please make sure that your feeding program works for you. Otherwise, it will be natural that the tree will shed off some of the fruits and the flowers. As for the sunshine, while you cannot do much about the sunshine, it comes back to you having a source of water and watering your tree during the dry season. Excess sunshine can be controlled to a bigger extent by having these trees get enough water. Once the tree gets enough water, then it can withstand the extreme sunshine. And that will save you from the headache of the abortion of the fruit, fruit and flower abortions. Thank you very much.
we invite you again continue following us on youtube avocare consultants on tiktok avocare consultants on facebook same avocare consultants come let us learn let us grow these trees let us grow this industry thank you very much